Uh, one of the things that is very interesting to me is what is happening with the sort of dichotomy of cleaner cities. And, you know, issue one is we want to have cleaner cities. We know the amount of pollution that is currently emitted from autos is unsustainable. We also know that there is a huge built-in transportation network, which also is emitting carbon. And cities are recognizing that there needs to be innovation. There needs to be a new approach. And the thing that is helps is government. Government can step in and incent. Government can incent through tax structure. Government can incent through research. Government can incent through all-out grants. And that modifies behavior, well established. The problem becomes that when government does not have a overarching policy, does not have a direction that people can depend upon, policies they can depend upon, incentives they can depend upon, it retards investment. It retards investment because the risk profile increases. The more that I am uncertain whether I'm going to get the dollars I'm counting on as part of my financial model, the less likely I'm going to be able to get the investment I need from private industry, private investors, to do the research I need to do, to create the new products that I want to create, to innovate in the kind of technology that our cities really need today. One of the pieces that I think is most exciting about what can be done positively in the urban environment today is really about how electric vehicles and alternative transportation vehicles can positively impact the way that people commute, the way that people drive. And I'm especially excited about electric vehicles. I, uh, I actually bought my first hybrid plug-in recently and got an experience of what it's like to deal with both the ecstasy and the pain of that. And the ecstasy is the, the performance. The ecstasy is the lower emissions. But I also need to figure out where I'm going to plug it in and how long it's going to take for me to charge it and where I can charge it. And this is where huge opportunity exists. Um, I'm especially excited about how you can combine technologies where you can take solar and charge the electric batteries you need. I'm excited about innovative programs where batteries can be swapped out. Instead of you owning the battery, you swap out your battery. And this will only happen as the critical mass grows. And it, it's always the chicken and the egg here. You know, at one level, you don't want to buy the electric car because you're afraid you're not going to be able to charge it. On the other hand, if it's too expensive, you're not going to buy the electric car. And so the model has to be right-sized and there has to be investment. Unfortunately, or fortunately as the case may be, the government needs to step in and help to bring this technology where it needs to be and invest in some of the cutting edge research that needs to happen to cut down charging times, to help create the incentives consistently for folks to want to purchase what is now a more expensive purchase. And ultimately, the cities need to step in and create the infrastructure around this so people can dependably know that when they need to get power for their car, it's there. The United States has a long history of supporting emerging transportation technology. You can go back to the railroad, you can go to air transportation, you can go to the gasoline car. And at every step of the way, government has had to step in to create both the incentives and the financial infrastructure to support the growth of these businesses. And there's no, there's no evil there. Uh, I, I want to be clear, this is not about saying government needs to be involved more, but government has an appropriate role and it is not creating a new paradigm here to be supporting this technology. And if you look at the dollars that has been supported for clean technology and clean tech companies versus traditional fossil fuels and traditional transportation technologies, it's not even in the same ballpark. The, the dollars are so outweighed by the traditional oil, gas technologies versus what we're looking to jumpstart what will be our future 